hey guys welcome back today i am going to show you a simple mistake that most python developers make when building a python application if you make this mistake i promise you're in trouble yes you heard that right in fact i was so close to losing my job when i was a beginner because of this mistake let me tell you what happens you see most of us are self-taught developers and we rely on the traditional methods to get things done and that's totally fine until you're working on the complex projects sometimes one tiny mistake can break your entire application and imagine if that application is in production you're done so today i want to talk about something called resource leakage a lot of people don't even know it exists but trust me as a python developer understanding resource leakage is uh, very critical it can completely crash your application if you're not careful so what is resource leakage and why does it happen whenever we perform file related tasks uh, establish a database connection or set up network connection in our application we borrow system resources from the operating system to get the job done now if you borrow something you must return it back once you're done simple as that resource leakage happens when your program uses these system resources but fail to release them properly uh, after it's done see these resources are limited and if they are not freed up your system can run out of them which will lead to crashes slowdowns or even locking up files so other processes cannot use them it's like borrowing the book from the library and never returning it back eventually there's nothing left for anyone else let's look at how this happens whenever we work with the files or database connections in python we typically use methods like open and close if it is files or connect and close if they are databases you notice a pattern here that close call is the key why because when we open a file programmatically we have to close it when we are done similarly when we establish a database connection it's super important to close the connection after use traditionally you would do something like this in order to read the file so you see i have a python file here and i have one example.txt here also i have a database but uh, i will talk more about database later but let's take an example of uh, this you know reading the file so usually to read a file in python we use open and close methods so let's try to read the file so i will say file is equal to um open and this open function will take the example.txt and it will also take the mode which is a uh, read mode we want to read the file right so this is r mode and then once it is done we will say content is equal to uh, file dot read and then we we call this close function file dot close right so what we are doing here we are actually opening the file uh, with the read mode and we are accessing the you know we are reading the file and then we are uh, closing the you know closing the file so if you run this let me just uh, print the content here so content is nothing but just uh, hello world text there's no, nothing much in it so i will simply say uh, python 3 test py and you can see it has printed hello world it looks very simple right but there's a catch here so what happens if any error uh, raises uh, before closing the file right so let's say error so what happens if the file is corrupted or permission is denied or anything right in that case this file.close function will never get executed which also means that the file is still in use and the file is still open so if such files are open in your system or the server most likely your resource is leaking why because the file must be closed otherwise this open file are uh, consuming the system resources so at some point once the system resources are empty then your application is definitely going to crash okay so that's why all these files and connections and everything should be closed even if any error happens in the application so that's why to prevent such resource leakages in python we have something called with statements so let me uh, comment it out and i will write the same code with the with statement so what this with statement will do is it will automatically open and close the connections or the files it uses python's context manager to open and close the files automatically okay so let's uh, uh, write the same opening reading and closing the file using with statement so we simply say with 
we say open and then example dot txt again we want to open it with the read mode as file okay as file and then we'll say content is equal to file dot read file dot read okay so now you can simply print any content if you want or you want to do anything else with the content you can do that but you don't have to explicitly call the close function so let's uh, run this again and you can see we will still be able to uh, read the file but this one does not uh, have any close function okay so with the statement will automatically open and close the uh, files okay even even if you get any kind of errors anywhere here like here even if there is any error any error here file will be automatically closed so there is no uh, risk of resource leakage using this with statement so this is very important because if the application is in production and uh, something like this will happen and then your application get uh, you know crashed then you are definitely not a good programmer now this doesn't just apply to files resource leakage can also happen when you are working with the databases in python when you need to interact with the database like sqlite mysql or postgresql you typically use libraries uh, such as sqlite 3 mysql dot uh, connector or uh, psychop g2 so the traditional process involves three main steps open the connection to establish a link to the database perform the operations like executing the queries or updates using a cursor and then close the connection to release the connection when you are done so these are the three steps that we uh, follow in order to interact with the database so let's take an example of how we can work with databases using the with statement but before that i'll also show you how we typically use the connect and close function to uh, interact with the database so i have a db.sqlite3 database here so and in that database i guess i have like um, uh, so many uh, test uh, tables but i know one table which is called uh, accounts underscore account it's a table name and we will try to fetch that table uh, using the python okay so first of all i will import uh, sqlite3 okay i'll import sqlite3 and first thing is to open the connection so usually we uh, create a connection object and uh, it will be like sqlite3 dot connect so this connect function will take the database name db dot sqlite3 okay so this means the connection is open now and then we also take the cursor object cursor is equal to con dot cursor okay and then using this cursor we can uh, execute the query okay cursor dot execute and then you can write the select you know select star from the table name is accounts dot account sorry not dot account it is underscore account okay underscore account and once we are done with the execute in the query we can simply uh, you know we will use con dot close so this is the typical method how we usually use uh, okay so but this one uh, here we are explicitly calling the close function but if there is something wrong in this query or some error occurs before this close function gets called then your database connection will not be closed it will stay open and your application will more likely get crashed so that's the reason to rewrite this code using the which statement we can do something like this with sqlite 3 dot connect again i'll simply paste it and as con then you can simply say cursor is equal to connection dot cursor then cursor dot execute and now if you save this and run this code this will run properly without causing any resource leakages okay so if you want to see what is the output we will get if you uh, run this you can simply say rows is equal to cursor dot fetch all 
and you can print rows okay i think there are some dummy data here okay so this is how we uh, you know run or execute the database queries and how to handle the uh, connections without causing the resource leakage so this is very important when you uh, work with the uh, bigger applications or complex uh, applications using python so if you want to learn more about python i have a python playlist in my uh, youtube channel i will leave a link in the description you can go and watch that okay so of course it is free so if you found this video helpful please make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and comment if you have any doubts see you on the next one